So you're thinking about relocating to Raleigh? In this video, we're gonna give you the pros and cons of living in Raleigh. Let's see if you agree with why Raleigh has consistently been amongst the best cities in America to live. Hi, I'm Allison Wernerowski, local broker and owner of Ray Realty, and welcome to another episode of our Living In series on Real Raleigh. In this video, we're gonna combine our knowledge gained from over 30 years of living here, along with the feedback from our Facebook group, Relocating to Raleigh, to give you the top five pros and the top five cons of living in Raleigh. Think the pros will outweigh the cons? Starting with the pros, pro number five is the food and drink scene. Would you believe that Raleigh is actually becoming known on the national stage for its food and drink scene? It's growing so fast. USA Today recently rated it amongst the most underrated food cities on the East Coast, and Forbes named it as one of the 12 global places to travel due to our culinary scene. We have multiple James Beard Foundation winners and finalists, which has helped to put us on the map. The nationally renowned Angus Barn restaurant, decorated and themed after a barn, it's much cooler than it sounds, is a staple of the area, and it's a must-see at Christmas time. For those who love food halls, we have you covered. The Morgan Street Food Hall and Transfer Co. Food Halls are so popular. Raleigh has also become a thriving craft beer scene. With over 20 breweries in the Raleigh area alone, there's a beer here for everyone. Each brewery has such a unique scene, and of course, with beer comes live music. Raleigh also does a great job of promoting these local businesses with various festivals, and Downtown's Brugaloo Festival is the second largest craft beer festival in the country. Okay, moving from one vital topic to the next. Pro number four is the schools. This area offers some of the best schools in the state, and it's rated as the sixth best state capital for quality of education. Wake County offers charter, public, magnet, and private school options at the elementary, middle, and high school level. These offerings provide an excellent variety in the type of schools available, as there are traditional public schools, schools that are STEM focused, more play-based, prep schools, religious schools, you name it. We have it all, and the best part about it is the students in this area make up a large portion of those admitted to the local universities, which are some of the best in the country. Many are familiar with NC State, Duke, and UNC Chapel Hill, which each have different offerings that include some of the top-ranked programs in business, medicine, law, engineering, and many others. Beyond the major universities, the Raleigh area also boasts a large number of smaller private colleges like Peace College, Meredith College, Shaw University, as well as excellent technical and community colleges. Now that you've heard about the schools, you'll understand why the Raleigh area is such a coveted location for new business, which leads us into our next pro. Pro number three, thriving economy. It's been exciting to watch Raleigh's economy explode over the recent years. Raleigh is among the top three hottest job markets in America, according to the Wall Street Journal, and is quickly becoming a tech hub. Already the headquarters of some major tech companies like Red Hat, others like Google, Apple, and Meta are building new campuses in the area. The Research Triangle Park located between Raleigh, Durham, and Chapel Hill was already the leading and largest high technology research and science park in North America before all these companies started relocating here. Raleigh is an attractive place for businesses, not just because of the abundance of technical talent in the area from from all the local universities, but also due to the relative affordability and quality of life it offers. Even with the rising house prices, which is happening all over the country, Raleigh still ranks well on the affordability index, especially when compared to its peers like Austin, and is much more affordable than some of the larger U.S. cities. It's also easy to see why it's in the top 10 most recession-proof cities in America. So we're getting down to the last two pros, and this next one could easily have taken the top spot for me. Pro number two, outdoor beauty and activities. One of the things I love most about Raleigh and something I hear from so many who visit here for the first time is how it's truly a city built in a forest. There's green everywhere and I love it. Raleigh does a great job preserving as many trees as possible when developing land, as well as beautifully landscaping along roadways and shopping centers. Raleigh's weather stays warm the majority of the year, and Raleigh is in the top 15 best cities in America for runners. With over 100 miles of trails, Raleigh has an extensive greenway system that is beloved by runners, bikers, and dog walkers alike. Everyone has their favorite, but mine is the News River Trail, which runs 26 miles from the Falls Lake Dam all the way to Johnston County along the Noose River. I just love the scenery and the calm of the river. Some of the smaller lakes in the area like Lake Johnson, Shelley Lake, and Lake Lynn have two to three mile paved trails that offer amazing scenery and peaceful walks. 
Raleigh also has so many amazing parks that are great to explore. Nestled in North Raleigh with nearly 5,600 acres of forest and over 20 miles of trails, Umstead Park is a local favorite. Dorothea Dix Park is another popular spot located just southwest of downtown. It has massive open fields, possibly the most popular photo op location in Raleigh with its beautiful sunflower fields and hosts many outdoor events, such as the oh-so-popular concert series Dreamville and movie nights for the kids. And if you're a mountain biker like my husband, there are tons of trails in the area with varying degrees of difficulty. Another thing I love about Raleigh is you don't have to choose whether you're a beach or a mountain person because you're close to both. The closest beaches are between two and a half to three hours away, then it's about a three to four hour drive to the mountains. North Carolina also has the unique Outer Banks, and Myrtle Beach in South Carolina is close as well. The mountains have great hiking, amazing views, and the eclectic mountain town of Asheville. For those who love lake life, Raleigh also has plenty of freshwater fun in the area. The two major lakes in the area are Falls Lake and Jordan Lake. Well, you'll see plenty of boats on nice days, but it's nice that it's not overly crowded. Okay guys, we have arrived. Drum roll. My number one pro of living in Raleigh is, it's family friendly. Raleigh is such a great place to raise a family. First off, the Southern hospitality is truly felt. People are genuinely nice polite and very accepting of others. Ladies, you will have the door held for you and you will hear, yes ma'am. Not only do I love raising my kids in an area that exposes them to good manners, the overall positive vibe in the area just rubs off on you and you feel comfortable everywhere you go. Raleigh is also a safe city as it's currently ranked as the second safest capital city in America. Of course, there's crime in certain pockets, but they're small and isolated. Okay, let's talk about the fun stuff. There's so much to do here dedicated to kids. We have parks everywhere. Your kids won't be bored. Sassafras, located in North Raleigh, has always been one of my favorites with its unique design. Poland Park is another popular park in the heart of Raleigh. Beyond a traditional playground, it has train rides, a carousel, paddle boats, and in the wintertime, it has the incredibly popular Holiday Express event. Raleigh has a ton of museums, and some are dedicated to kids alone. It has both the history and natural science museums in downtown that will keep your kids entertained, but downtown also has the Marbles Kids Museum. This museum is basically an indoor playground for kids, and one of my kids' absolute favorites. Kids can play and learn at the same time, even without realizing it. My favorite kids' museum, though, is in Durham, called the Durham Museum of Life and Science. It is a play-based museum that has a massive outdoor treehouse playground, a dinosaur trail, and a ton of real animals to see. Raleigh also offers tons of sporting options for your kids that caters to all skill levels. We have our kids in multiple programs just to figure out what sports they enjoy. There are both public and private programs running here, and they offer an incredible variety of sports. For those wondering, we do offer hockey as well and even have the Carolina Junior Hurricanes team sponsored by our NHL team, the Carolina Hurricanes, for those who need more of a challenge. There are so many more things that I could talk about, but truly Raleigh understands that its foundation is built on families and really does an excellent job providing fun opportunities to keep it lively. This has attracted many families and whether you are out and about or just hanging in your neighborhood, there will be plenty of kids around. So those are the top pros of living in Raleigh, but let's give you the lowdown on some of the cons of living here because not everything is perfect. And if you're serious about moving here, you need to know this stuff. Con number five, the weather. Some people move here because of the weather, especially those from the north who are tired of the snow or others who want to enjoy the seasons. However, Raleigh can get humid. The peak of summer usually has highs in the 90s, but the humidity is what makes it feel so hot. But there are solutions. Raleigh thankfully has beautiful malls like Crabtree Valley Mall and plenty of museums for those who want to stay inside. Well, it also has splash pads, shaded playgrounds, and lots of pools around to stay cool. And if you have allergies, load up on the allergy meds in the spring. The whole area turns yellow for a few weeks in the spring due to the pollen. And don't bother washing your car during this time. The yellow dust just comes right back. With heat and humidity, wildlife can follow. That leads us to con number four, the wildlife. Some of the questions I get the most involve the wildlife here. We have our fair share of mosquitoes, ticks, and fleas that you have to watch out for. If you have pets, you'll want to ensure they have a flea and tick guard. This is more of an issue if you have a wooded lot or live nearby stagnant water. We also have snakes. Most snakes observed are not venomous, but we do have copperheads and some rattlesnakes. Snakes are most likely to be seen near the various trails around or when a new development is cleared, but it's still rare. In all of my 30 plus years here, I think I've seen like two snakes and they were small. I hate, I mean hate bugs and critters. So if I can live here, you can too. Con number three, lack of pro sports. 
If you have to see a professional sports live, Raleigh may not be the place for you. We are home to the NHL's Carolina Hurricanes, which the city loves. It's always packed and named the loudest house in the NHL, and it's an amazing atmosphere. But if you want to see the NBA or NFL, you'll have to travel three hours to Charlotte. There's also no Major League Baseball, but we have several minor league teams in the area. Ever seen the movie Bull Durham, based on the Durham Bulls? If you love college sports, though, this area is one of the best. We're known for tailgating at the NC State football games, and the college basketball rivalry between UNC and Duke is arguably the best in the nation. Attending a Duke-UNC game in person is a must-do. Okay, getting down to it, con number two is the lack of nightlife. While it's definitely growing, Raleigh does not have a thriving nightlife scene. There are plenty of young professionals who do enjoy living here, and Raleigh's downtown and midtown areas are constantly adding condo-type living with more entertainment, but it's far from the big city feel. Glenwood South and North Hills are the more popular Raleigh area hangouts, which do get crowded on the weekends. Restaurants and bars on these areas do close down at 2 a.m. So if you need an endless variety of bars and clubs that are open all night long, you might wanna check out the nightlife scene before moving here. All right, we made it. Con number one, transportation. Can you believe that a city of Raleigh's size does not have a mass transit system aside from buses? Raleigh's explosion of population in the recent years has left it scrambling to keep up. Much of the working population lives here in the suburbs and commutes into town. And while there is not traffic anywhere close to what those experience in major cities, traffic does keep getting worse despite the state's best efforts to expand our highway system. Keep this in mind when choosing a location in relation to your work office. You also have to own a car if you live outside of downtown. The city and its suburbs are fairly spread out and it's generally not walkable. There's plenty of rideshare options though that usually arrive within minutes of requesting, especially in the more urban areas. On the positive side, Raleigh does have a train system with the main station located at the newly built Union Station downtown that will take you to places like Charlotte or Washington DC. It also has a convenient international airport, so you're not driving hours to get to your closest major airport. Well, I hope this video gave you some insight into the pros and cons of Raleigh. And if you need help finding your next home, our team here at Very Really is here to guide you every step of the way. Raleigh offers such a variety and style of living and entertainment. I'm confident we will find the perfect match for you. So give us a call, send us an email. Our contact information is below. Engage in our interactive Facebook group, Relocating to Raleigh, to chat with others who are or have recently relocated. You can also find more resources at www.vayrealty.com. Don't forget to subscribe below and click the bell to get notifications so you can see our latest videos. We are filling out our living in series with every suburb. So make sure you don't miss those to help you figure out what's best for you. Comment on the video as well and let us know what else you would like to see. Again, I'm Allison Warnerowski with Bray Realty and thank you so much for watching.